Hey folks, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. Uh, we're at Pepcom in San Francisco, California. And I'm here with another interesting outfit and accessory for mobile devices, mobile applications, and our mental health, you might argue. Um, this is Muse. It is a headband. And it is also, it's basically a portable EEG of sorts. I'm with Ariel, who's the co-founder of the company. They're based in Toronto. Thanks for coming down and slumming it with us here in California. Anytime, my Anytime. pleasure. Yeah. Now, before we get into the product itself, I want to know more, a little more about your background. You are a neuroscientist, so you have real yeah. brain science behind this. It's true. So this is a clinical grade EEG. It tracks your brain activity with sensors here on the forehead. These are right. conductive ink sensors. So this basically goes like a hat. So this yep. band here is against the forehead. Yeah, and these bands, these pieces yeah. here are behind your ears. Don behind the ears. So it's like these putting are, on a set of glasses. Yeah, these are conductive rubber sensors over yeah. here. It's all proprietary material. Right. And then it tracks your brain activity in real time and sends that data to your smartphone or your tablet. Right. So you actually get to see what your brain is doing. Right. And the application that it comes with is a meditation tool. Okay. So it tracks your brain while you meditate. Everybody knows meditation is good for you. There are this thousand studies on how it improves your gray matter. The, va the voices in my head strongly disagree, but we'll get on that at another, at another time. Exactly. Yeah, right. So let's talk about the app, though. I, we don't have to go through the app itself. We were talking with one of your colleagues here. The first push of this that, that you've had since you've had this product on market for many years to focus on meditation. What, where is this going to evolve to, though? What's your vision about beyond meditation? Because mental health or brain science is more than just meditation. Totally. Yep. So we have over 120 different research institutions that use Muse yep. in a wide variety of different ways. So some of them are using the meditation tool for high blood pressure, anxiety, depression, PTSD, etc. Right. Others are taking this clinical grade EEG and using the data to then build uh, neuromarkers for ADHD, build applications for, for being able to track, track epilepsy, to help with right. autism, etc. It's amazing, you know, and the fact that this is clinical grade, which basically means that it can read with the accuracy that you might have if you were at a medical center or somewhere yes. or a hospital uh, exactly. or even emergency room after a car wreck or something like that, um, which is pretty amazing. And what's going to blow your mind it's not, is the fact that you can get this retail, like at Best Buy, 299 bucks. That's it. So now let's get into the app and the science behind how you how you wanted the app to be designed. So it's focused now on meditation. Um, not everybody has an hour out of their day to spend meditating. I know my brain would never allow that. Um, so how does the app accommodate the people that are on the go and, and don't want to try and go all in an hour at a time? Because yeah. sometimes you kind of go gradually. Totally. Right? Yeah. So you start with three minutes. Gotcha. So in three minutes, what happens is you hear the sound of your mind, and you hear your mind like the wind. So when you're distracted, mind wandering, ruminating, you hear it as windy. And as you come to a state of clear, focused attention, it quiets the wind. Wow. My brain is a thunderstorm. Uh, it's, all, it's, it's a typhoon, folks. That's all i got to say. Let's take a look at the hardware real quick. So it's it's basically a flexible headband. It charges yep. itself via micro USB right over the left yep. ear. And there's no other moving parts. Well, you have actually, a power you have a power indicator. Power but yeah, indicator here. Yeah, so it yeah. adjusts to sizing yeah. here with yeah. the little gold sizing indicators. Right. But otherwise, that nah, it's solid state. Totally. Yeah. And so with uh, such a device, you could use it how many times before recharging it? Uh, so five hours continuous use. Gotcha. I toss mine in my bag and I'll use it for three or four days before I, actually probably a week before I feel really right on. charging it. Great. And I love it. It's yeah. helped my life and it's helped the life of tens of thousands of people. That's amazing. You know, and, and uh, you know, as dialed in as we are about mobile technology and the accessories that come with it, this thing's been on the market for a year. I never knew. Um, and you can uh, get it now off the shelf. You can get your own personal EEG. Um, right now, it's a standalone app, um, and the focus is on meditation. But you know, when it comes to the brain, uh, anything is possible. And this might just be a window for us to see what's going on in our mind. Um, well, figuratively speaking, anyway. So that's Muse. It's two ninety nine. Available at Best Buy now. Uh, what's your website? www.choosemuse.com. Choosemuse.com. And for the developers out there, there's also an open SDK, so you can get all the raw data yourself. There's prepackaged algorithms, so you can build your own applications for thought controlled drones and games right. on your phone you play with your mind and whatever you choose. That is crazy, guys. Did you hear that? The SDK will accommodate developers that can find ways to map the brain activity and maybe you can control a drone with your head. Beyond. 
It's only 2015, folks. I thought this was decades away, and here we are. All right, well, thanks, Ariel. That's Muse out of Canada, $2.99 at Best Buy. Uh, choose Muse.com and all sorts of crazy, amazing technology at Pepcom here in San Francisco coming to you from phoneArena.com.